Have you ever tried shooting outside on a breezy or windy day and had the wind catch your modifier and knock over your light stand? If this hasn't happened to you, it probably will. Most people use sandbags or bags that hold weights. Others use some DIY remedies that really aren't convenient. I found a cool new gadget that is easy to transport, easy to set up, and it lets you easily move your stands. And it works great as a stabilizer for both light stands and tripods. Stay tuned. Hey gang, my name is Joe Edelman and my mission is to help photographers like you to develop a solid understanding of the hows and whys behind great photography so that you can achieve your goals as a photographer. You know, light modifiers like umbrellas or parabolic reflectors or beauty dishes weren't really designed with outdoor shooting in mind. We've all seen what happens to an umbrella in the wind, add a light stand and an expensive speed light or a monolight with a battery pack and you have a recipe for disaster. For decades, the standard solution has been sandbags draped over the legs of the light stand. More recently, similar bags have emerged that let you add weights. But like the sandbags, these tend to place the weight near the center and don't really offer much counterbalance. Plus, they're awkward and bulky to transport to your location shoot. A quick Google search shows some solutions that include tying your camera bag to the light stand with a parachute cord, which is great until you want to move the stand, or another popular one which requires tent stakes and rope which is wonderful if you like camping, have lots of extra time to run the rope, and don't want to move your stands once you have them set up. I was recently contacted by a fellow photographer in California with a cool little gadget that he designed and named Stand Daddy, and I wanted to share it with you. Stand Daddy's creator, Pat Green, calls it an affordable tripod stabilizer system, and I would have to agree. This is a Stand Daddy. It's a simple, unbreakable collar that uses inexpensive barbell weights to stabilize your light stands or tripods. Let's take a second and talk about light stands. It really does matter what kind of light stand you buy. And that depends on how you intend to use them and how heavy the gear is that you're going to mount on the stand. The two primary types of light stands are C stands, which is short for century stands, or tripod stands. C-stands are the industry standard in the movie and television world, and also the high-end commercial photography world. They're bigger, heavier, and indeed, more expensive than the other stands. C-stands are built to take a beating and pretty much last forever, which means if you have a chance to pick up a set used, you rarely have to worry about their working condition. C-stands sit low to the ground, so they have a low center of gravity. Between the weight of the stand and a low center of gravity, a simple sandbag will generally prevent the C-stand from toppling with a big modifier in windy conditions. On the more expensive end, you can purchase C-stands with removable legs so that you can adjust the risers to get the exact height that you need. C-stands with wheels are also available for studio use. Tripod stands are more commonly used among photographers because there is more variety in size, features, and price points. You can get a heavier stand like this LumaPro that extends to 10 feet tall and it's designed to handle up to eight and a half pounds. To give you a point of reference, this Digibee DB800 is 2.9 pounds. This five foot Photoflex Octodome is four pounds, which means this stand is adequate to handle this setup. By comparison, this 10 foot photogenic air cushion stand begins to flex with the seven pounds of gear mounted on it. So the moral is, the most important question for you to ask before you buy a light stand is how much weight is it designed to safely support? And the most important question for you to be able to answer before you buy that stand is how much does the gear that you want to put on the stand weigh? After that, you look for the solution that meets your needs. For instance, if you want to shoot on location with a speed light, a travel stand like this seven and a half foot LumaPro compact light stand is excellent for handling a speed light and a small to medium sized modifier on location. Know your weights and your needs before you buy your stands Otherwise, you're gonna be wasting your money as soon as you realize that you've cheaped out and bought stands that don't properly support your gear. The Stand Daddy has a one inch hole that will accommodate most light stands and it supports any standard barbell exercise weight plate also with a one inch hole. It is made with an industrial grade composite material that renders it virtually unbreakable with normal use and it comes with a lifetime warranty for a full replacement if you break it. Two and a half to five pound weights are more than adequate in most cases. 
You can see here that I used 10 pound weights to anchor this 60 inch umbrella with three speed lights, and honestly, that was overkill. You don't need tools to use it, just hand tighten. Simply slide your weight over the leg of your stand and slide the stand daddy on and tighten the thumb screw. There's no need to over tighten the screw and the screw won't damage or dent your stands, even the cheap ones. Each stand daddy collar is less than $10 and you can save money by buying in sets of four or eight. These stand daddies aren't just for light stands. They make great stabilizers for tripods. You can mount them on the legs or the center column and they're also great for boom arm weights. You can use them to balance a video crane or a slider as well. Stand Daddy has also just released the Stand Daddy Large, which has a two inch center for bigger stands and tripods. A little bonus feature is the Stand Daddy Carry Handle. This lets you carry several weights and the Stand Daddy collars. These handles sell for less than $20. Bottom line, don't let this happen to you, ever. Make sure you have a way to anchor your gear. Now you know that I'm all about DIY projects, but for my money, Stand Daddy is an elegant and simple solution to secure my stands and to handle an easy way to transport weights on location. I hope you find this helpful. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. And until next time, go pick up that camera and shoot something because your best shot, <laughs> it's your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios.